Okay, so what we've got is our three, we have our three screens here, um, which will be showing different things at the show. At the moment, the, the main stage here is set actually to the UK Gamers Expo's own Twitch stream, which we broadcast on on Wednesday afternoons to explain to the world how all this is, is, is working. Um, but during the show, we'll also be showing interviews with exhibitors and sponsors and seminars um, and other, other bits and bobs and activities and things that will be going on. So that's what's happening up there. Down below here, then we have these main, what I consider almost to be the doors. So when you go to the real physical show, uh, there are different parts of the show. So a key part of the show, of course, is the is the show floor. So if we if we if we clicked on that, we will be taken through to the trade hall, which will um, change a little bit between now and the show. There'll be lots more sort of little bit of art added onto this, but you get the idea. So when you're in the trade hall, uh, this is meant to look a little bit like a real trade hall. So a little orc guy here can, can walk along with us, uh, exploring the hall, and there are lots of stands up there. Um, he can also, um, apart from going into stands that way, um, he can find um, stands by, by searching for them. So if we were to, to do this, uh, there's Medusa Games, um, and up pops our stand uh, preview. Another way of finding stands is by going in from the filter. So the filter, you can decide on the type of um, exhibitor that you want uh, to know about. So if what you're interested in is, uh, let's say, some accessories uh, to gaming, um, you can click on that. Uh, and people that are down as having some form of accessories um, to, to gaming and things will, will all show up on here as, uh, as well. Um, and clicking on any of these will take you into... Uh, into into their stand. Um, then you can see we've set various things up in here. So at the top we've got our categories that we've gone down as board games, card games, family games, a little bit about us, a picky of our games, um, um, and here it says people can chat to us on the Discord channel and arrange demos. Um, and below it we've put these videos in. So we've done these videos, or uh, James has done all our games under six minutes. Uh, and then below here we've got um, these short versions of games in about seven minutes that uh, we've recorded three of so far. We still need to do fire machines to finish those off. And on the right hand side we've got um, these ways of getting in touch with us and doing things. Um, so um, have, you got that? have you got the iPad ready Jane? Yep. Okay, so we're going to go through the chat window now. Uh, should be able to see the other end of this. So I'm going to join meeting. Um, only one at the moment there, but uh, if uh, on Jane's screen she does the same, she's gone. So there she is. Oh, there there we are. Right, there we see. There we see Jane. Now the idea here, apart from a sort of slightly wow holy effect. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, so, but the idea you can see the idea of this. This is a direct physical link to, between the two screens that don't require any software setting up in advance. Uh, on the iPad, I think you needed to install an app, but on the PC, you can just run with it, and it doesn't require people to understand Zoom or Discord or any of the rest of it, just to have a, a laptop and a microphone. So this can be a, a chat thing that we can, over the weekend, for the She Expo, we all sort of take it in turns to man this, but we may well decide to set up a, an actual stand, as it were, with banners and our games on the table or something, so that we can talk things through. All right, so that's a direct connection. Right, so let's go back into the stand. You can, you can disconnect there, Jane, and rejoin us. Um, we can view on Twitch, which is what we're actually broadcasting on at the moment. Um, I don't know if we're going to get if we get that. If we, we get loads of echo. Um, I'll just, I'll just mute, mute us for the minute on Twitch. Um, there we are on Twitch a few seconds ago. The switch is always delayed a little bit. <laughs> um, and now it's going to show loads of screens. So we'll come out of that. Um, but basically, people can connect to us uh, on Twitch. And we'll be doing some things just as we're doing right now uh, on Twitch. Um, they can also chat to us on Discord, which we're going to show in a moment. So the idea is that we will be doing different things. So we will be doing demos and we will be doing, uh, be doing events. Um, also, they can connect to us, by the way, to our shop, which is here. Um, and if we've done other videos, we might put a few extra videos in here as well. So the sort of events we'll be doing is is um, are these sorts of things down here, where we'll be talking. We'll, we'll, we'll actually do demonstrations where we just do the game with guests and things. So this might be just um, 
a, a lot, or it might be some of our friends and um, and so on, or it could be the visitors who who um, we've said in here that um, you know the full playthrough of Magnificent Fly Machines by by the game uh, by the team and guests, and if you want to join us, let us know basically and we'll there's only a few spaces so you or you can just watch the event and if they click join here that'll take them through to the twitch stream and they can just watch the game being played and then we've got these we've got these demos up here so the demos uh, this just says the hours that we're running these particular things we've just said any ask for any of our games we'll, we'll run them at certain times um, uh, and then if they want to do the demos what they've got to do is to the join event will take people into the discord channel Okay, so this has brought us through to the uh, the Discord channel uh, that we're all on currently, um, and the idea of this is allows people to talk as we're doing right now, audio and also uh, type text. Um, basically, uh, the idea here is that, as it says in the welcome channel, they can post text messages in the general text channel. Uh, they can speak to us either in there or in the audio channel that we're all in at the moment. Um, if they want to find out about buying our, our games, then they can head over to the to the shop channel here, which has the, the games in, and then we'll link them across to the Medusa Games website to, to actually do the, the buying of it. So the main idea here is that we're going to run um, demos this way. Oh, a, we can have talk to people um, if they want to talk to us um, in, a, in a way that allows a bit more, you know, more function than you can do on that chat window we showed earlier. So the idea of that is it's an easy thing for people to make contact with us, but it's not that easy to, not as easy to share text things and run demos and things as it is through this. Um, and Discord, the idea of Discord is that you effectively almost sort of took it away while you're doing the, the, the game in the sort of foreground. So Jane, do you want to have a go at running a, running a thing? Okay. So which game would you like a demo of? Uh, Great Fire of London. You like to do great fire. Okay, so I will launch that. If you would like to go down to text channel for demo one. And if you'd like to move to the voice channel demo one as well. Invite players, here we go, send the link. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna paste this into the demo one text. Okay, can everyone see that? Yeah, I can, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you all click on that. Okay, so there's only two people so far, me and Gemma, that have clicked through. Okay, yeah, thanks for that. Um, hang on. Hang on, I'm not logged in here, so let's just do that. And at the moment, I've got a little thing saying two to five players, not enough players to come and set up. So Fred, Fred has joined. That's me. I haven't logged in yet, so I'm just doing it as a guest. So that shows you that people don't have to have an account. So Gemma has got an account, Jane has, I have, but I'm logged in with it. Um, I've just joined in, I've logged in as Fred. Um, so people don't have to have an actual account. They can just, just, just go in as a guest. Back is there now. And we're all I in like now. your avatar. Oh, very nice, yes. Oh, yes, very nice. So the, now, because it's a 3D thing, we can't, we couldn't, when we did the conversion, get the cones to quite work. So the the fire cones are these sort of red cylinders, and the black disky things are the firefighters. So you have to, when you put one on top of the other, sort of hover it above it and like drop it on, kind of like that. Um, so when you can see the shadow below. Yeah, that's like that. So if you're kind of off to one side, then literally the whole thing could fall off like that. <laughs> so you so you have to sort of uh, get used to that and. Uh, and when it's on its side like that, you can F, you can F key and often it will flip back over. Or it, you can also right click on a thing and you get like um, the flip thing and you also get a rotate option. Um, so there's, there's ways you can manipulate the objects um, if they're doing funny things. There we are, that's about the right way up now. Okay. So this is the usual bit that, that, that with Tabletopia that we say to people to sort of... Uh, so what we do with those sort of like full demo things um, where we're going to play the game and people can join us we sort of advise people to have played around with Tabletopia first <laughs> I guess, because otherwise there's a lot of this sort of like how do I how do I do things how do I you know uh, first time through 
so you what you can't hand. do, however, is flip the table. You can't flip the table. <laughs> you can move the table around as well if you like. You can rotate the table, and that'll only affect it for you, not for anybody yes. else. So if you if you if you hold your left mouse button down, go you can go forward and backwards, left and right, and that won't change the view for anybody else, but it will help you move in, move out. You can also mouse wheel in and out. So if you want to zoom in and zoom out. So uh, yeah. I was just going to say, on the green hand, yeah. yeah. So this fire piece I'm holding. Yeah. Is there any reason why it turns into morph? <laughs> into what? Morph, that, that cartoon. Got... You're the right. morph guy yeah. who goes through walls. <laughs> he... <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one isn't happy. That one's not happy with life. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes interaction with 3D pieces, um, um, in Tabletopia, they're still working on. You know, it's, uh, it's actually pretty Mom, good. Mom, have you just but... moved out of the way? I just moved it out of yeah. the way. I was just thinking. Because uh, okay. this did the bag was the bare fire code, so maybe I'll put it in the bag. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and yes, now, yes. So that bag, if you click on it, you get stuff out. So like, you need to get out. Um, if there's a take, and if you go down to the hand, and then you can choose. You can take one, two, three, or four fire cones. So if you're expanding the fire and you need to have three fire cones, or you've just burnt down um, the Royal Exchange, you need four fire cones, you can do that. And then it'll provide you with four fire cones. How do I like twist mode. the table around? Twist the table if you right mouse button and then go oh, forward okay. and backwards, you can rotate the table. Yeah. You can also sort of tilt it backwards and forwards and things. I don't you think can... you had this background in last time. No, the background, cool. the background. If you get is, people that... to tilt the table around. Yeah, you can, can see, see you can see different bits of the background of London Burning, which is the actual book art, the box of the box art, uh, which you thought would be quite cool for the uh, for the background. So, so I was yeah. I was a bit dubious to begin with about how you can have a virtual expo and actually do demos when people can't do things and whether you'd have to have a, a set up an actual board and a camera and then get people to tell you where they wanted to move to and all that would feel very awkward. But actually yeah. with this, of course, you don't. People just play. So it's just like it's just like running a demo in the ordinary way, except you're all doing right. it this way. 